Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, thank you for joining. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back. As you can see by the title of today's video, I am doing a favorites haul for you guys. So something a little bit different. I've seen a couple of people do it on YouTube and I thought it would be a great idea, especially now as we are sort of in that festive Christmas spirit, you might find something here that you might think is a good gift idea or something that you just want to treat yourself with. So I always get questions from you guys over on my Instagram about what's my favorite perfume, what makeup do I like to wear? So I thought you know what let me put all of my favorite things into this video and show you guys so hope you guys enjoy make sure to hit that like button let's get this video to 2,000 likes and if you haven't already what are you waiting on hit that subscribe button and make sure to press the notification bell so that you do not miss any of my upcoming videos without further ado let's get into favorite things so the first thing on my favorite thing list is hair so I Typically, I'm quite boring when it comes to my hair. I'm a natural gal, but recently I have been in love with wigs. So the wig that I'm rocking at the moment and have been rocking for a while is by Yira Hair. I will put all of her information in the description bar and I'll put her Instagram right here. So um, she kindly gifted me with this wig. This is a chocolate um, frontal wig. I'm not going to try and tell you the dimensions or the length of the hair because that is not my thing and I'm going to mess it up. So I will leave that in the description box. Um, but recently I rocked a curly wig um, for my anniversary. I'll put a picture of it here and it was a amazing like I just love it I love how it feels it's great for filming as well because it just means that I can kind of look nice and glam for you guys. So another thing which I like is she has these little wig bags. Um, so. I mean, it's self-explanatory, but this is the curly wig that I've got in here. Um, and it just, it's great for storage because it just means that I can neatly either hang this up or I can put these folded away. So if you are a wig lover, but you don't have anywhere to store it, then this is an amazing way to store um, your wigs. Um, and if you are a wig lover, go and check out her wigs. I promise you, the quality of the hair is phenomenal. Like, seriously phenomenal. Like, the person that installed it for me was just like, where did you get this wig from? Because the hair is curling so well. It takes heat well. It's, it's top notch. Like, I couldn't say enough good things about it. And the amount of compliments that I am getting from my friends and family and you guys over on Instagram is really making me feel good. But yeah, wigs. I'm sold. The next thing I want to show you guys are my sort of top three fragrances at the moment. I know that fragrances are very specific. Everyone has their sort of own scents that they like, but these are my personal top three. So the first one is one that I've been rocking for a while, which is the Idol perfume from Lancome. Prior to this perfume coming out, because this is quite new, I used to wear La Vie Est Belle, which is what I wore on my wedding day. Um, and I went to Boots to repurchase it, and this had come out, and I'd seen it on Instagram because of how sleek the bottle is. And when I smelled it, I was like, okay, this is basically La Vie Est Belle, 2.0. So if you've smelt that, La Vie Espel is quite sweet. Um, you know what, I'm not even going to try and explain it. I think I'm just going to put like the fragrant notes here so that you guys can tell because I'm very bad with explaining what scents smell like. But it's just, it's sweet, but it's mature, it's sophisticated, it's just... I love it. So this is like my day-to-day -day scent, I would say. It's also really great because it's refillable. So you can take it to Boots. Um, I don't know where else does. If I find out, I'll leave it in the description. Um, but they basically take off the lid, pop it into a machine, and it basically fills up. And then when you get the refill, it's cheaper because you're not obviously paying for the bottle. So um, really great way to be cost effective and also helps the planet. So two for one. The next favorite perfume that I've got is from Burberry. So this is Her by Burberry and Again, I'm not going to try and smell, I'm not going to try and um, explain the fragrance. It is sort of sweet. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to put the notes here, but basically take my word for it. It smells divine. It smells divine. It smells expensive. It's just, it's a favorite. The next one is completely different for me. So this is by Jo Malone. I saw this on um, Melissa Wardrobe's page on Instagram. If you do not know who she is, she is the influencer of life. Um, so go and check her out on Instagram. But she spoke about this. This is the Honeysuckle and Divana or Devana Cologne by Jo Malone. Um, it's a very different smell. I tend to go for things that are quite sweet. Um, this, I don't, I really don't know how to like 
explain what these smell like um but like i said i will put the notes here so that you guys can see but i just love it and i like the fact that it's something completely different from everything in my collection um let me know in the comments as well i'm always on the hunt for a new perfume let me know in the comments what is your favorite perfume um and also if you want me to do a perfume collection of all of my favorite perfumes let me know as well the next item i want to talk about are trainers i am in love with these trainers so these are the nike um fly knit vapor max and um i've had these for like a couple of months now and i swear to you i live in these shoes these are the most comfortable trainers i have like it feels like you are walking on clouds now i will warn you they are pricey like i'm not talking about like 60 70 80 pounds they are like 170 pounds a pair but i'm just i'm sold i honestly didn't think i would like them as much i think initially i wanted them because i thought they looked good i mean my husband has a pair and he literally like he's worn them to death like it's all he wears when he wears trainers and now i understand why so if you are on the hunt for a new pair of trainers something that's really comfortable but also looks really good these bad boys love them so keeping on the theme of sort of clothing, I love a good silk pajama. Um, so this is actually a set that I got from Primark. Cheap and cheerful. I think this dress um, was maybe like 10 pounds and it's got like a nice crisscross design on it. Um, and it came with, well not came with, but they've got like a whole, um, like a whole section. And this is the robe um, that comes with it. Clearly it's all muddled up. But this is the robe that comes with it. And I love the um, sleeves on this. So it's got like a really big kimono sleeve. Um, and this is a new set that I've been getting. And then another set that I've also recently picked up is this cute sort of like short um, and top from Ted Baker, um, which is a little bit more pricier. But again, it just kind of shows you don't have to spend a lot of money. I mean, this is not like massively expensive. I think this was... I think I've still got the tag on here somewhere. Okay, so this is like 17 pounds a piece, whereas this will be like six pounds, 10 pounds. So slight price difference, um, but again, around the Christmas time, there's loads of places online that are doing sales, that are doing discounts. Silk pajamas, you just feel nice and luxurious at home. Um, so yeah, silk PJs, either for you or for your partner. So next, I kind of went through my makeup bag and just picked out sort of like my go-to items. The one thing that I get asked the most is my lip combo. So what are my favorite lip combos? So I'm gonna take you through a few. The first thing I'm gonna do is start by my favorite lip liners. So um, the majority of my lip liners are either from MAC or from Morphe. Um, so my two favorite ones, I've recently stocked up because they were on sale. My two favorite ones from Morphe are Bite Me and Sugar Pie. Um, they're sort of like a Bite Me, is like a brown color sugar pie is a little bit lighter so especially if you're doing um like a natural nude that's a great um color for that and then from mac um cork which is sort of like well known people talk about that all the time uh, on instagram and online and chestnut which again I, I think these two are sort of like staples for mac so these would be like my favorite lip liners and then in terms of lip glosses my go-to, like my actual go-to, is um, the colour that I'm wearing right now. I feel like I have been on the hunt for the longest time for the perfect nude. There used to be one by Dior that I would wear all the time. It was hella pricey um, and then they discontinued it. So since then I've always kind of been on the hunt for the perfect nude for my skin tone and I feel like this is it. So this is by um, Mahina Makeup who is a beautiful uh, young girl from the UK um, and she's a makeup artist, world-renowned makeup artist and she came out with her own line of lip glosses and when I tell you the consistency of these things, they're amazing. Like I've got it on right now. It's not sticky, like it just glides. The one thing I hate is a sticky lip gloss. This is just beautiful and it stays glossy as well. It stays on for a long time. It doesn't dry matte, which I like. Um, so this is in the color Boss. This is the mini version that I've got here. Um, but she's also come out in um, a whole set of bigger sizes and she's got more colors, but this one specifically 
is um, is my favorite so I will leave the link to her website in the description she also sells lashes so go and check her out go and support a young black woman from the UK who's launched an amazing brand with an amazing product so go and check her out the next product I'm going to feature again is by a phenomenal woman. So a good friend of mine, um, Gina Nipper, has launched her own cosmetic line. And I just think this idea is genius. So basically, it's a lip liner and a lip gloss all in one. So this is Milk and Cookies. Um, I'm definitely going to be rocking this for the next week or so. Um, so on one hand, you've got the darker colour, which is milk. Um, well cookies sorry and then on the other hand you've got the lighter color which is cookies um so i will put a video here um of her applying it so you can see and that is essentially the idea with all of them so this one that i've got here is peanut butter and jelly um so these are the two that i am rocking at the moment so go and check her out she has a whole line of i think four colors or four sets that you can get so i will leave the link in the description make sure you guys go and check her out that would be amazing as either a stocking filler or a christmas gift or even if you want to treat yourself um, so yeah go and check her out so the next thing I'm going to talk about is eyebrows and eyebrow pencils so for me my go-to if there was only one makeup item that I would be able to keep it would be an eyebrow pencil I just like it when you when your eyebrows are done your face just looks framed so my favorite eyebrow pencil is by benefit it is the um, uh, precisely my brow pencil it is pricey for me personally speaking for an eyebrow pencil i think it retails at like 18 pounds if i'm not mistaken um and i've tried other dupes they're just not as good they're just not as good but one of the reasons why i wanted to include this in is because um this time of year there are loads and loads of sales going on online so i actually picked up this set from debenhams and um, so i will leave the link if it's not already sold out in the description but the great thing about it is that you get a mini version and then if i can get it out okay it's dropped and then you get the full size both of these together were still cheaper than one by itself so again usually around this time of year is when i kind of stock up on my favorites and my go-to items um but this pencil i wear it in the color five um and it's just like a twist up at the top but it just it just glides on so perfectly um and it's really nice to sort of create fine lines so again great as a stocking filler um great if you just want to kind of treat yourself and top up on some good deals while there are christmas sales going on on the topic of christmas sales um, another thing that I like is I'm very particular when it comes to mascara so I don't wear lashes um, I want to start to try and wear lashes but for now mascara is sort of like my go-to and again this is one of my favorites favorite 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 mascaras I can't get anything out of the box today okay so this is the bad girl bang mascara by benefit and what I look for and what I love from a mascara is a thin wand I don't like it when it's like curved and really big and lumpy because I feel like you can't really get in there and lengthen out your eyelashes um, and again during the Christmas time you can get loads of these little sets where you can get a little primer and a mascara together in a set which is cheaper than if you were to buy the mascara by itself um, so definitely look out for those kind of little bundle deals around this time of year um, but I think if I'm not mistaken, I think this retails for £22 by itself. If you want a cheaper alternative, something that I have been rocking for the longest time, like literally since I was a teenager, is the Maybelline um, Push Up False, Falsely Lashes. This mascara is life and it's literally like £5. Um, I used this today and again, it's got a really, really um, tiny, like tiny wand. So this gets all the way in there. So absolute favorite thing for me. This next makeup item is a current new favorite because I've only been using this for a week now. I saw this on Esther A's um, page um, over on Instagram. She's here on YouTube. Um, and it is the Becca Evermatte uh, Poreless Priming Perfector. I've seen this product around sort of over the years um, and it caught my eye when I saw it on her page because I've been on the hunt for a good primer for a long time. When I tell you this stuff is liquid gold i put this on i i bought the um smaller size because i didn't want to waste my money on a bigger size and then not like it because i'm that skeptical when it comes to primers um i put this on my makeup did not 
budge like I wasn't oily I wasn't sweaty like usually in my t-zone is where I'll get oily straight away and my nose is just like glistening by the end of the day I was matte I was matte as can be so I am definitely going back and buying the bigger size of this so if you guys are on the look for a good primer highly highly recommend this one the last makeup item or second to last makeup item that I've got is this Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer so I try as much as I can to give my skin a break from wearing foundation and so typically if I'm not wearing anything at all on my face or sometimes if I just want a bit of a glow this is what I go to I used to think that I would never be able to find a tinted moisturizer for my skin tone because a lot of the stuff that I saw from brands and things on the counters was just way too light or I'd put it on and it would look ashy. Um, I wear this in the color tan, it is beautiful. It is so lightweight, it gives you a glow, it kind of evens out your skin tone. Um, so I would highly, highly recommend this. Um, Laura Mercier is one of my favorite makeup brands, period. Um, but yeah, highly, highly recommend this. And it's got SPF 20 in it as well, which is really great. Last but not least, final makeup item that I've got is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So this is the mini version um, that I picked up. I've got the larger one. This is, for me personally, unlike any other setting spray because it sprays, I don't know if you'll be, it sprays like a deodorant. Um, so it's a, it's a mist as opposed to um, other sprays. Like I used to use, what's the name of it? The Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray, which is still really good. But I feel like sometimes, especially when you get to the end of the bottle, it kind of squirts out into splashes. And so sometimes you'll kind of see that stain on your, um, on your face. This doesn't do that. It sets your makeup so nicely, but it also works. Like it's not just the applicator and the way it applies. It is a really, really, really good setting, uh, setting spray. So again, one of my makeup favorites. Next, I wanna introduce you guys to the Luna Mirror. So this is what I use uh, when I do my makeup. I also use this when I travel. So this is sort of like a portable travel size mirror. It um, sort of folds over. And the great thing about it is it has a light, so it's chargeable. So this is the yellow setting. If you tap it again, it will go to a white light setting. And then you tap it again, and it goes to like a blue kind of setting, and then back to um, yellow. Um, again, amazing. So I always have this in my drawer. So when I'm doing my makeup, this is what I use. Um, it's got like a little port where you can charge it. Um, and then it's got like the on and off button on the side. Again, I will put the links for all of this stuff um, in the description. I picked this up from Amazon. I do not remember. Um, I think I've had this for like over a year now and I cannot rave about it enough. Like the quality of this is brilliant. They even have a mini version which I need to order, um, which is sort of like a pocket mirror. Again, same thing with the light up function, which I'm definitely going to order. So I'll put the link for that as well. But yeah, really, really great. I like the fact that it doesn't stand up because a lot of light up mirrors are sort of like the big chunky ones that would have to sit on your desk. I like the fact that with this, I can just take it away, fold it, put it in my drawer or my desk and then take it out when I need it. So again, great gift idea. Um, and also just great to have, handy to have at the house. I feel like you also apply your makeup a lot better when you can actually see it clearly and when you've got light, so favorite. So this next item is the Foreo um, Mini Luna Face Washer. Now, I typically am quite skeptical when it comes to machines and face cleansers just because my skin is quite sensitive and I used to have like a Clarisonic back in the day and I just didn't like it. I felt like it was too rough on my skin. Um, this was gifted to me. I have used it every single day since the day I took it out of the box. It is so nice and I promise you, I genuinely feel like my skin, like the actual texture of my skin has become so much smoother since I've started using this. Um, so literally it's got an on and uh, off button at the back. Um, it sort of vibrates. Um, I literally just squeeze whatever cleanser I'm using onto it and then just go in. The great thing about it is that they have um, three different styles, I guess you would say, um, or categories. So this is the sensitive brush. They've got um, one that I think is normal and one that I think is extra. I can't remember what the exact names are. I'll put them on the screen or in the description. Um, but yeah, genuinely, genuinely have fallen in love with this item. I use it every single day and every single night. Um, the great thing as well is that you can um, connect this to your phone uh, and basically set a timer on it. So I've got a one minute timer on this so that I can make sure that whenever I'm washing my face, I'm cleansing my face for a minute. After the minute's done, it will literally just stop vibrating. Um, I 
it's got like the little charger port at the back but honestly I don't charge this that much like I've only charged it a few times in all of the length that I've been using it and I've been using it for a couple of months so it's not the kind of thing where you need to charge it you know every couple of days it will last you like a solid month without needing a charge um so yeah I think it retails for about 149 if I'm not mistaken again sorry if I'm wrong I'll put the the actual price here but really 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 great product like I'm in love with this so the next thing is a favorite that has come out of COVID and the lockdown which is nails so these are press on nails at the beginning of lockdown everything was obviously obviously shut off we didn't have a lot of time to be able to plan so I always used to get acrylics the state of my acrylics during the lockdown was ridiculous um and so Jackie Ina well-known youtuber um had always spoken about press on nails and i just never i just never thought they would be like a thing i would like i didn't think they would stay on i could just imagine myself washing the dishes and they just popping off um but i thought you know what let me give it a try in love i'd like i have raved about press on nails in vlogs on my instagram so if you follow me you are probably sick and tired of me saying it i'm gonna say it again because i love them um but yeah these uh press on nails they i've got a whole video on my instagram um of how to apply them how i apply them i get so many questions um so in terms of the top ones how easy are they to apply very easy you can either get them in a set of 24 which is what i get and then i basically choose these specific sizes or you can get them custom made um i've also got a pack here which i've recently picked up from labello beauty so as you can see it will, this is a 24 pack so i will go through this and basically pick out whatever matches my size and apply them on typically i feel like they last me about two weeks two to three weeks um sometimes one of them might pop off and i will literally just always have some glue on me and i will just stick it back on these have been on for like three weeks now and they are still going strong i've only had to put one on this one broke yesterday um so i literally just stuck it back on again and that's it but again really really great it's amazing because it just means that now it's so much easier for me i don't need to rely on having to book an appointment etc so nails favorite things another one of my absolute favorite things are my airpods i absolutely love them i've had them for over two years now um i actually lost mine so technically these are marvs but they're mine now um but yeah I absolutely love them. If you want a cheaper alternative to AirPods, another brand uh, that I bought off Amazon, which are equally as good, is this brand called, um, how do you say this? Anchorfire. Um, these are a little bit different in the sense that the actual earbud is a lot bigger. So when you put it into your ear, if you guys will be able to see, it kind of covers your ear completely. Um, but these are a cheaper alternative, but just generally, um, wireless headphones are just a dream like it just it's changed the game for me so again a favorite thing but also an amazing christmas present idea a gift guide or hey don't wait for someone else to get it for you treat yourself to some airpods or if you want a cheaper version there's tons on the market that are equally just as good so yeah so if you were to ask me what is my favorite feature in terms of for myself i would say my smile if you agree let me know in the comment section. <laughs> but um, I've always been obsessed with white teeth. I like my teeth looking white. So I was super, super excited um, earlier in the year when I got my teeth whitened. So I wanted to include it um, because I just think it's a great gift. It's a gift that is going to last you a very long time, um, but it is genuinely one of my favorite things. So this is the um, teeth whitening set. It is an at-home kit. Um, I worked with Dove Dental Spa on this, um, who have now become my permanent dentists, um, which is run by Dr. Dapper. Honestly, an amazing practice. I have a whole highlight on my Instagram, um, which shows you the entire journey from my first consultation right the way up until my last appointment. But I will show you what it looks like. And I'm so here for the packaging and like how luxurious it looks. So this is basically the box that you get. Um, and then inside it, you have the little sort of syringes. So I've used two already and I was happy with how white my teeth were. I mean, I wasn't going for like that Simon Cowell white look. I still want them to look natural. So I used two and then I still have another two that I can use at any time. So let's say like 
in a year or so I kind of feel like my teeth aren't as white and I just want to give it a top up I can then go back and start to use this which is really brilliant um it also comes with the mouth guards which are basically like the molds that you put so this is what it looks like. It's the mold that you would put the gel in and then you just slot that into your teeth and you wear it overnight. So um, when I started using it, I had a little bit of sensitivity, um, basically just reached out to my dentist and he just said that I could just change the intervals that I was using it. So initially you would use it every single evening when you go to sleep because it made my teeth a little bit sensitive. I used it alternative. So like one day on, one day off, one day on, one day off. Um, and the sensitivity went the minute I stopped using it. So um, it's not something that I'm currently dealing with. But honestly, one of the best things that I've done in a long time. So I really wanted to make sure that I included it. So I will leave the link to their practice and all the information for their teeth whitening. If you actually want to watch through the process, go on and check my Instagram page. I've got a highlight which shows the entire process over there as well. This next item is very random. I don't feel like it fits into any category that I have here, but it is basically an ID protection roller stamp. I saw this on um, an actual favorites video on YouTube, and it is basically, I should have brought a piece of paper so I can show you guys. Let me see if this, okay. So you see how you get packages or mail, etc., and it's got your address on it. Most times, if you're like me, you're there like scraping it off um, with a knife. With this, you literally just roll it over the top and it just hides your address. And then you can throw your packages away or throw your letters away without having to worry about any ID theft or anything out there because we know that there are weird and cruel people out there in the world. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was such a handy device. It's super cheap, super cheerful. I will leave a link to it. I got it on Amazon um, Prime, she came the next day. Um, but yeah, I thought I would I thought I would include it because it's such a handy tool um, and I genuinely love it. Like it's made my life so much easier because before I used to hate throwing out packages or getting rid of letters, but this is just swipe and go. Now, this next item you would have seen because I included it in my bedroom makeover video. So this is my Stackers jewelry case. I am in love with this thing. So I remember seeing Stackers like years ago, like probably when I was in like secondary school. And I always thought it was a great idea and something that I wanted. Um, my aunt had, uh, had a Stackers jewelry case and I just always loved the way it looked. So when they reached out to me, I was thrilled and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. So. It's honestly made my life so much easier in terms of organization. So I've got all of my jewelry in sort of like layers. So you've got like the box section. Um, I still haven't filled it up because honestly, I don't have that much jewelry. And then you've got a bigger section at the bottom. Um, I actually think this is an amazing idea for a Christmas gift or even for yourself just to kind of organize. Um, this is part of their new collection. So this is in the pebble gray. And the great thing about this is it's something that you can keep on building and keep on buying. So even if you only wanted to go ahead and just get these two Two sets you could do that later on down the line if you feel like you need another you literally just go back you purchase this you add it onto it so I've seen people that have got some that are quite high if you've got a lot of jewelry as for me these three are perfectly fine um, but yeah I wanted to include it because I haven't had it for very long but honestly I love it and it's made organizing my jewelry and finding what I want to wear so 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 easy so the next thing I want to talk about is a bit of self-care, a bit of body care. So um, this is something that is sort of typical for me. Every single Christmas, regardless of whatever other gifts I get, my family members always used to get me a either a Dove gift set or a Nivea gift set or a Sanctuary gift set, you name it. Um, but it's such a good gift um, to give to yourself or to someone else. Um, this one is one I got from Boots. So this is the Dove set. It was originally 16 pounds and it was on sale for eight pounds. Um, I stand by Dove products. It is the only deodorant that I use. I love their moisturizer. Um, so it comes with a bar, um, bar of soap, uh, some body washes, some lotion, a loafer, what do you call those things? A sleeping mask and also a deodorant. Um, so the amount of things that you are getting in this one set is a lot for the price and it's very, very cheap. Um, and Dove is genuinely one of my favorite brands. So I wanted to include this. Great as a little treat to yourself or as a stocking filler or just as a gift for someone else. On the same topic of body care, this stuff is gold. So this is the Sanctuary Spa Salt Scrub. 
Um, my mum is the one that actually introduced this to me years ago. Um, and then I stopped using it and I recently saw it on Melissa Wardrobe's channel. And I was just like, oh my gosh, yes, I need to go back and find myself stuff. This salt scrub, when you use it on your body, I promise you, you will feel like you don't even need to moisturize afterwards. Like your skin will be glowing, it will be soft, it's exfoliated. So this is genuinely one of my favorite things. Um, and again, great as like like it just looks so aesthetically pleasing even if you were to put it in your bathroom so again a great stocking filler um but also just a really good staple favorite thing to have in the home in your bathroom as well now it wouldn't be a favorites video if i didn't talk about one of my favorite things which is candles um i love candles i love having candles lit um all around the room in different um all around the house rather in different rooms um so these are just two of my current favorites again if you watched my bedroom makeover you would have seen this um so this is the vanilla candle that i picked up from home sense they have a gigantic range of candles in like the biggest sizes to like miniature versions um and i I also really really love Audi candles there these are sort of the two places that I tend to get my candles um, I tend to just go for cheap and cheerful ones I know you can get candles that are a lot more expensive from like Joe Malone Tom Ford places like that um, yeah me personally I'm just cheap and cheerful if someone wants to buy it for me I don't mind but personally speaking I don't think I would spend money on an expensive candle just because I've got cheaper ones that smell absolutely divine um, so yeah candles absolutely love them so that's it for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed it let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite things and also let me know if you'd like me to do this as part of a series so maybe like my favorite perfumes in terms of like my whole collection my favorite skincare items let me know if you guys would be interested and i will make sure to get that done for you so until next time make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button and make sure to press that bell so that you do not miss any of my upcoming videos until next time bye